hello everyone today in this video in continuation with the previous video of the module one where i had discussed the sensors and signal conditioning module one important questions that i'll be discussing uh, the second module's important questions in this video so uh, to give you a brief overview of the uh, module two there are two chapters in it the chapter four and chapter five in chapter four we have the uh, reactance variation and electromagnetic sensors two types of sensors reactance variation and electromagnetic sensor okay and signal conditioning for reactive uh, variation sensors there is the second chapter okay so the important topics in the first chapter are three the uh, first one is the capacitive sensors then inductive sensors then electromagnetic sensors okay and in that subtopics are there we'll be briefly going through the subtopics and seeing what all you can remember fine then uh, we'll be moving on to the uh, chapter five there we have the important topic ac bridges carrier amplifier coherent detection specific signal condition for capacitive sensors resolver to uh, digital and digital to resolver converters okay so here are also some sub subtopics are there so, so uh, we'll be going through that so uh, before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt ping me on instagram id is this one and uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button because it helps me make more videos like this okay so let's get started this folder can be found in the link given in the description box so let's get started from the uh, chapter 4 i'll be opening the textbook open the textbook in a different device and open this uh, pdf in a different device okay so let's uh, go to the uh, textbook part and the first question is what are capacitive sensors that's answer is in uh, page number 214 okay so if you go to page number 214 we'll be finding about what are capacitive sensors capacitive sensor what is capacitive first you google that what is capacitive okay capacitive means i guess it is like this there is a battery here and or some material will be there which will be storing some charges that is known as capacitive uh, capacitive okay so capacitive sen sensor there are two types variable capacitor and uh, differential capacitor variable capacitor by the name, name itself you can understand it is varying in its um, intensity so you can give the equations in this form and why it is varying that also you can uh, give the equation because of the some factors and i exactly don't know what is the factors so you have to go through the notes or you can google that what are the factors uh, which affect this one and what are the sensitivity equations this you have to mention and yeah here some diagrams are there so uh, for any of the answer you mentioned three things first the theory part what it is then mention a equation or formula in support of that then you have to draw a diagram and explain what are the components used in the diagram then the working principle of it so for every answer you have to go in this way okay whatever answer you mentioned there is some uh, parameters here and the specification of the humidity and all so you have to go through it and uh, analyze what are these things next is the differential capacitor here i think you will be using the differentiation as uh, well so i'm not sure regarding that but the uh, i can see some formulas and the uh, uh, diagrams given so you have to go through it differential means what it is uh, like um, at a particular amount of time what's happening i guess it's that differential capacitor and how does it affect the actual uh, usage so some uh, information is given you have to go through it okay so that's the uh, first question which is what are capacitive sensors two things were there variable and differential then we have the inductive uh, sensor so here are many uh, subtopics like the first one is a variable uh, reluctant sensor variable reluctant sensor it's variable uh, as well as uh, the reluctance i don't know the meaning of reluctance so you have to google this one so just know the meaning of it and if there is some equation uh, noted down somewhere so for each topic you have to do like this only okay so that was about the reluctant server uh, sensor then next is the eddy current eddy current is those currents which uh, come because of the space in between okay so this also we had studied in 12th right eddy current happens because of the uh, heavy metals will be there and inside that some space will be there the magnetic field will be generated when this metal moves okay that is eddy current and to sense that we'll be using eddy current sensor so that's another instrument you have to draw the diagram how it is uh, looking like so after that we'll be sensing that as well like uh, next in the lvdt which is the linear variable differential transformer so it's a transformer and it is linear variable differential so it will be variable as well as uh, we'll be using some differential equations and this is the uh, circuit diagrams of it you have to go through it and uh, this is the graph part if the graph part is there make sure you make this one as well and here some uh, numericals are also there so what are the parameters affecting that you have to basically mention it's a uh, quite huge topic so go to it and uh, go through it and whatever you can uh, get to know uh, get to know from it next is the variable transformers synch uh, synchros resolvers and uh, inductor sign so just now google what is th uh, these three definitions noted down somewhere and for each of these three things what is the different thing you can find out watch some video and get to know what are these things okay because if the time is very less all you have to do is get to know what are these things then you have to write in your own words here's a three phase synchronous transformer but i don't think so you will be able to um, get in depth knowledge regarding this one because if the time is less it's very hard if you already know it's very good but uh, if the time is less you just have to know the overview of it and write whatever you can fine so like that you have to do for the three things after that uh, we have the magneto elastic and magneto um, magneto restrictive sensors okay what is the difference between these two you can google that one and uh, know the differences if there is any diagrams uh, memorize the diagrams 
and here some diagrams are there okay and if any, any derivation or the equation is there make sure you go through it and uh, ligand and pulse wire sensors two types of sensors ligand and pulse uh, wire what are those sensors how it is different from the other uh, sensors what are the key points in that and what is the diagram you have to make the formulas at which temperature it works what is the working principle of saturation core uh, flux gate uh, sensors so how does saturation uh, core means what does it actually mean that's the first thing you have to find out in all the uh, subtopics okay and after that make the diagrams and write the formulas so, uh, and this is the squid which is nothing but the superconducting quantum interface devices inter interference devices so what does it actually do get uh, get to know about it explore it and uh, practice this diagram here and uh, what are the factors so that was about the second topic which is inductive sensors then we have the electromagnetic sensors here two things are there faraday's law and the hall effect so faraday's law we already said in the 12th it is uh, something in relation to the proportion regarding the electromotive forces and the um current uh, generated so it's uh, something like that you have to go through it just uh, know the uh, general technique regarding that one if there is any diagrams make sure you don't miss that and what the characteristics it's uh, present upon so just get to know the brief overview of it and that should be sufficient for you okay next one is the hall effect uh, sensors make sure you make this one this one we had studied in the um first year physics right hall effect sensors uh, not sensors just hall effect we had studied so to detect this uh, thing that is the hall effect sensor so what are the equations regarding this how it, uh, it detects that is the key points which you have to write here okay and uh, i guess some equations are also there but i'm not sure regarding that characteristics are also there see these are the key points you have to make and uh, means uh, note down and this you have to uh, explain during your um, theory part explanation include these points and underline this point that will make sure uh, that uh, gives the assumption to the examiner that you have written some key points okay so your chances of uh, getting marks will be increased so that was about the fourth uh, chapter we had three things capacitive sensor inductive sensor and what electromagnetic sensors now let's move on to the chapter 5 which is signal conditioning for uh, reactance variation sensors there is something called as reactance variation sensors so what is the signal conditioning for it that we have to discuss here okay so uh, what is the first question is what are ac bridges okay so it's more it's page number 289 so in in ac bridges also there are a lot of topics uh, subtopics let's uh, briefly go through it sensitivity and linearity what do th these terms mean what is sensitive what is what is linear what are the diagrams you have to make regarding that what are the formulas for it those things you have to keep in mind okay then what we have is the another uh, subtopic which is capacitive bridge uh, along linearization what is linearization first you get to know that and capacitive bridge what is the uh, diagram of it and how does it affect analog okay analog, uh, in an analog fashion how does it affect so make sure you make these diagrams as well for the given question ac amplifiers and power supply decoupling so i guess this for the numericals but you need to know what is the meaning of it okay firstly what you do whatever term you com come across google that term watch one or two minute video regarding that per, uh, specific term note down in your own words that will be very very effective okay in exam when you sit to write the if the question comes you will be able to write very effectively okay so make sure you don't miss this uh, trick okay so here some equations are there you can go through it as well as the examples are given get to know the brief information regarding what are these things okay don't go in deep because time is less and here we have the next one which is the electrostatic shields and driven shields two types of shield shield is what it protects with uh, from something so i don't know what it protects from but it protects okay so electrostatic and driven two types are there what are the differences between electrostatic and driven that you have to make and what is the uh, diagram of it what is the di diagram from uh, uh, diagram from uh, electrostatic what is the diagram for driven shield that is the differences you have to make as uh, as well as below the uh, diagrams you have to write the uh, particular equations regarding that okay and what are the trends in that how what factors affect these things and what are the applications of it these are the key points you have to mention in this subtopic ac and dc signal converters ac means alternating current dc means direct current how do they uh, convert okay the basic principle regarding that and what are the signals present in that ac means it will be always uh, changing from positive cycle to negative cycle and uh, dc is just the straight one it will be not changing and it will be just the continuous supply so some equations are there uh, what it def uh, depends upon the reactance or the inductance capacitance voltage or the frequency or um, one more was the uh, for, yeah, current value or the voltage value capacitance so many equations are there just uh, get to know in brief what are these things uh, present here okay so i think that should be sufficient for the ac bridges next one is the water carrier amplifiers and coherent detection carrier amplifier and coherent detection two things are there what is amplifier it increases amplifier means what it increases carrier means it uh, carries for all the sensors okay i guess it's that a carrier amplifier is required for all sensors uh, whose output is an amplitude uh, module uh, ampli 
amplitude modulated AC signal okay so for that the carrier amplifier is needed and coherent means uh, synchronous coherent means synchronous if you are going like this someone is coming uh, behind you like this only that is coherent uh, right so how to detect that if it is coherent and what is the amplifier those things you have to mention fundamental structure of carrier amplifier this diagram you have to make after that the theory regarding that here some equations are there go through it and here is the graph part wherever the graph part is there make sure you do not miss it practice it once or twice you will get to know what it actually is and help you to draw in the answer script in a very effective manner. Then what we have is the phase uh, sensitive detectors phase sensitive what is phase phase is the uh, angle difference between two waves. So what is the angle difference between two waves between that uh, how to detect what is the uh, difference between them okay basically that is what uh, the phase detective uh, sensors is and you have to make the diagrams and the theory and uh, factors affecting that and the formulas regarding that that was about the um, coherent uh, I guess and the application of LD LVDT is the last topic in this uh, question. So what are the applications of LVDT that is sometimes uh, used here where all it is used and how it is uh, significant in the real life that you have to basically explain okay. Next is the explain significant uh, explain specific signal condition uh, conditions uh, for uh, capacitive sensors specific signal conditioners for capacitive sensors which sensor we are using capacitive which stores the electricity that uh, sensor for uh, conditioner specific signal we are calculating the conditioner for the capacitive sensors. So here what it means you have to write google the same term and know whatever it is and uh, try practicing these diagrams as well and here are the theory parts and the formulas are also given. So you can go through these formulas and get to know what it actually is. The last one is the resolver to digital and digital to resolver converter. Here three types are there uh, synchro and uh, something is starting from I and another one is last is the resolver okay synchro to resolver converter if you can practice this equation practice this equation it will be helpful for you and make this diagram. So write the theory practice the equation write the diagram for each of these the, uh, the next one is the digital resolver uh, converter okay so digital resolver converter also same thing resolver to digital this is the reverse of it what is the equations and the theory part and here the problems are given okay. So basically you have to do this much for the module uh, 2 of um, 18 AC 652 and make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next one.